Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we got another daily dose of dismal Disney. Disney just killing all the fun on the internet. Yes, you're not uh, allowed to do the fake uh, Disney Pixar posters. Yeah, if you guys have seen these posters, they're absolutely brilliant. They're hilarious. They're also confusing people because they look legit. But there are a lot of AI generated posters done in the style of a Disney or Pixar movie. Uh, some of them are just, I mean, they're freaking hilarious. Somebody even went as far as to generate a Harry Potter trailer, made it look like it was on Disney Plus. And yeah. With, with, with this kind of stuff, okay? I would watch this. Because somebody else in the comments, like, they wouldn't, Warner Brothers and Disney wouldn't have agreed enough to put them on Disney Plus. Oh, well, I don't know. Warner's pretty desperate. Disney's pretty desperate. I don't desperate. know. But, so this whole thing has been a, an ordeal. I think it started out with the two girls, one cup. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then after that, it just went, everybody was making posters for everything. So, yeah. But yeah. this comes, did you say mention it come from Mr. Milo? It comes from Mr. Milo on piratesandprincesses.net. We're going to talk about, we're going to talk about what uh, Disney is doing about. Now, this is just Microsoft AI. So there are lots of other AI programs out there that are still able to generate uh, fake, fake Disney posters. But, but this uh, was the go-to. This was the go-to. So let's uh, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com. You've only got a couple hours left, especially after I post this video, uh, to grab a copy of Shadowbinders Volume 3 hardcover graphic novel shipping mm -hmm. next summer. And uh, you can pick up copies of one and two. So it looks like it's done around 9 o'clock Eastern. Yeah, I think 9 o'clock Eastern. I wanted to end it before there. Thanksgiving. Uh, I thought that that would just be a nice clean break, you know? So yeah, so you've got some time yet. You can still grab a copy of that. And thank you so much for the support. We are well overfunded. Yes, thank you. Um, you guys are awesome. And we're gonna hopefully, hopefully before we publish this, have another chance to, to pick up a copy if you missed out. So, all right, let's let's uh, let's go out to this article here and we're gonna look at some of these. So the, these posters are, are freaking hilarious. Oh yeah, I've been covering these on the blog. For weeks, and some of the most, the, a, lot of the, a lot of the traffic we've been getting is over these AI generated posters. And if they're real or not, at this point in time, pretty much, if there's something like this, people are automatically assuming it's fake now because they're they've learned. Yeah, so we'll take a look at we'll take a look at some of these posters after we talk about what uh, Disney is doing about it. Because of course, you know, we can't can't do this. It's going to damage have fun at Disney's expense. I can't have fun at Disney's expense. It's going to damage the brand. Oh wait, they've already done that themselves. South Park already did it. South Park already. <laughs> Destroy Disney. So the internet has been plagued with a trend of AI generated film posters. I, you say plagued. I say blessed. <laughs> um, some of them are pretty bad though, right? Yeah. So some these of these. These are some of the, le the le least lesser of the ones right here. They had a yeah. bunch of Holocaust one. They called yeah. Cost. They had one that was called Floyd. They had one. I, I've seen so many. The yeah. two girls, one cup, obviously. We, we've got some more. We've got some more that are we're going to show here later. But yeah, you get you get the gist, right? Some of these are pretty dicey. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it appears Disney has had a little talk with Microsoft, as is being reported that uh, attempting to create an image using the word Disney users will see the prompt. The search terms used to guide the AI was against its policies. Now, yeah, I've noticed this with um, even with. Other one like uh, Starry AI, there are certain terms that they will not allow you to use. Um, Disney, I, I don't know if Disney's one of them, but I know if you do like Mickey Mouse or something, like you can do Mickey, but if you do like Mickey Mouse or something, one of the programs. Well, I've the used, thing is, I'm sure do. Disney made some calls and had threatened legal action and everything else to yeah. get them to block their, their name so people can't do it. So Andrew White, a partner at the uh, Mayus and Squire Law Firm, said this on the issue. Reproduction of the Disney logo is a clear trademark infringement. I would imagine that's why the AI might be jumbling the logo. In this instance, it's more for fun than trying to pass the images off for film or animation, uh, but that would be a huge issue. Maybe with the, um, you know, the Disney probably did make calls. But yeah, I mean, if you've ever used AI art, you've ever done, like it does jumble text. A lot of times, like I've had before try to make memes and it's just like nonsensical gibberish. Mm -hmm. But what people will do is they will generate the image and then you can just slap the logo yeah, on it. Yeah, they just copy and paste it, you know? yeah. Um, yeah, from a PR perspective, uh, it's a fine line for Disney seeming to come down on something for fun that is ultimately raising its profile versus something that's actually anti-competitive. So, I mean, if this is the case, then... If you're not allowed to clearly parody Disney, right, using AI, then 
uh, Saturday Night Live can't do Disney parody, you know, trailers or nobody right. can parody. And honestly, look, if Disney had their way, nobody would be allowed to make fun of them at all, ever. South Park. No, South Park. I, I would argue at this point that Disney, no one's going to out parody Disney because they've already parodied, parodied themselves. Yes. They are a parody of what they once were. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. So shortly after the news of Disney being banned, seemingly banned from the image generator broke, Microsoft will not directly comment on the matter, made the following. There's a current level of variability that may return different results from time to time as we continue to refine our safety systems. Additionally, artists, celebrities, and organizations can request to limit the creation of images associated with their names and brands. Uh, Disney has not made any public comments regarding the situation. Again, this is just Microsoft. Um, there are some other issues. I've noticed that there were terms before because I've tried doing like, you know, Disney castle images and stuff like that sometimes for thumbnails or for, you know, images for blog posts or whatever. And I've noticed that you have to be a lot more granular than you used to have to be. Mm -hmm. So I think Disney's made some phone calls to some different companies, but some but of these companies are a castle that is Disney esque nothing like Disney. They don't own that. I, I think Unless you're putting Disney's name on it and even architecture, they can argue you don't own, like they tried that. That was something that came up with the tower of terror. Mm. It's like they didn't own the architectural draw, you know what I mean? Drawings right. and stuff like that. So, but it was their work and it was, there was a bunch of nebulous because he could do an architectural drawing and that was trademarked for him or copywritten for him because you can't do that for public buildings, you know, or buildings that are out in the public. Right. right. And I think there's some just nebulous stuff going on, but Disney will try to threaten it. Yeah, I mean, again, if Disney could end all parody tomorrow, they would do it because they're usually on the receiving end because the company is beyond parody, especially in modern times. But they've always been the butt of jokes. I mm -hmm. mean, my God, you know, uh, Bambi versus Godzilla. Yeah, going back to the 60s and so Have you ever seen that short? Nope. Okay, well, no, I, I probably shouldn't tell you what happens. No, I don't want to know. I'm it's sure basically it Bambi being ripped to pieces. So no, basically what happens is uh, uh, Bambi and Godzilla, the fight goes down about as you would expect. Okay, let's yes. not talk about it. Okay, we're not going to talk about it. Google it. So anyway, um, yeah, so here are some, some of the images. This is the one that kicked it off, right? Mm -hmm. The two girls, one cup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then we had uh, Cost, which was what? The Holocaust see? ones. Yeah. Yeah, I can see where Disney might have a problem with this. I can see where they might have a problem. I mean, with clearly this it's one. an AI. Look, the guy is literally coming out of the tower in the background. <laughs> clearly, it's AI. But the, here's here's where it gets weird, though. Disney uh, and uh, DreamWorks too. They've actually said they're going to use AI in their animation. Oh, so it's okay when they do it. It's okay when they do it. But uh, I can see I can see a disgruntled animator uh, sneaking stuff out the back door. Be like, oh, okay, here we have the models or whatever that we're using, and we're going to make them do some some awful stuff. Um, so this is what Corgi, wait, what is this? Would not let me do Corgis or Aussies versus Squirrels. Not sure why, but Bing kept giving me the violates policy warning. Now, this is Bing, um, the Bing version of it, which is, yeah, I guess Microsoft. So I don't know. There are certain terms that they have banned, uh, certain things. Obviously, they don't want you using their AI probably to do dirty stuff you know, or potentially illegal stuff. Uh, this one, I searched up Disney Pixar movie poster about the Portland trailblazers. And this is what we got. It looks, it looks better than uh, space jam, right? <laughs> um, this looks pretty. See, these all look legit. Like they would be, here's teeth, <laughs> Disney and Pixar. See what that's, you know, teeth. God, that would be, that'd be horrifying. It'd be like that, that, oh my God. See, I would watch all of these. I would watch all of these damn movies. I would. The Godfather, done by Disney Pixar. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, done by Pixar and John Wick. Uh, I don't know if that's... Yeah, I guess that's Pixar, too. Now, of course, we have Nam, Twin, and Klux, and Finding Osama. Uh, yeah. And Frank. Yeah, this one exists, doesn't it? Don't they I have don't an? Know. Don't they have? I think they have an Anne Frank animated series, and it got a lot of backlash. Where Anne Frank was like imagining being a white girl or something, and I don't know what it was. Like her diary came to life and was. It oh was, yeah, the diary was talking yeah, about something. It was, it was crazy. something crazy. Like it was, uh, Squid King and Piggy Bird try to explain it to me, and I was like, "What the hell?" It's funny because it's Disney, but it's also funny because I could see them doing stupid like some of the movies that they've come up with some of the teasers for the like like wish literally looks like an ai generated movie it looks like just mm -hmm. make the most bland generic disney disney is give me a just give me a disney princess movie poster 
And that is that the poster for wish. wish. Make it diverse. Make it diverse. Give me a diverse Disney princess on the most Disneyest lookingest poster ever with an animal friend. And that would be Wish. Actually, I would laugh my ass off if it came out after the fact that Wish was like their first experiment using AI. I, it seems very generic. It I seems mean, I'll give them that. It's very generic. Very, it's very generic. Well, th- th- we should start getting the audience scores here from Wish soon because it can't. Yeah. Oh, 84%. I'm on it right now. So uh, audience, verified audience is 84%. All audience is 69%. And there's only 100 plus verified and 500 plus all. And the rev- and the critics have it at forty six percent. Huh. So it's not going the way they think it's going to do. But I guarantee you, the verified audience is all like, "Oh my God, there's so many Easter eggs. It's a Disney dream come true. It's a di- <laughs> the Disney wet dream." There we go. Actually, this is this is a wet dream right here. If we could go back in time and get the rights to Harry Potter and put it in our theme park. Well, they could have got the rights for the theme park, and they blew that one. Oh my God, this looks awesome. I would watch this. I would. It was a fake out. Yeah, I know, but I would totally watch this. See, this is what I think rather than doing another live action Harry Potter, since it's already been done, I think HBO should just do this. Well, didn't they do like um, manga versions of it and stuff before? I think so. Yeah, I would. I would watch the hell out of that. I think that might actually translate better because a lot of the especially in the first couple books, a lot of the, the stuff is so fanciful. I don't think it really translates to live action very well, but I think it would work in animation. I'd watch this. Damn well, it. Now I want to watch it, but it wasn't real. It was a fake out. <laughs> it's like, and then we could just cut out JK Rowling completely and just use AI to write the books from now on. Oh, moral dilemma, moral dilemma. Get rid of JK Rowling on one hand or using AI. Hmm. What do you do? What are you going to do? So anyway, we're going to wrap this one yep. up. There we go, guys. Disney apparently uh, uh, complaining or something. Something's going on. Something's going on. Uh, So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye.